But shall we get a trade now? No. <laughs> no. Patience. Now, trading live on camera is probably one of the hardest things. But in today's video, I'm going to be trading live, analyzing live, and getting trades with you guys in here. Now, I have a live account of about $12,000. I'm actually going to put a link just down so you guys can actually be able to track the account and then how my trades actually go. Now, I could take a profit or a loss, but I mean, at the end of the day, that's trading. So be sure you follow up, see how I get the trades, see how I open up the trades, the lot sizes, then the stop losses and all that and by the way smash the subscribe button the goal is 100k so without any further of your time let's dive straight into the chat now i'm on right here so first things first i want to show you guys my watch list so i have about six pairs on my watch list by the way keep it simple the more pairs you have the more confusion you are going to bring so have a few pairs that you're going to focus on and then trade. So personally, more often I trade GBPUSD, GBPJPY, USDJPY, EURJPY, and just like what you guys can see here. So I'm going to kick off. Um, I just, uh, I'm going to start off with EURJPY right here. And obviously again, to my style of trading, I'm starting off from bigger time frames, that being H4. And now we are just going to first establish the overall trend and then see what we can actually do. By the way, I use the same strategy that I'd shared in the previous video here. So let's go. Now, a quick one, usually let's check out for news. So I did check out, we have some news on the USD later on in the evening. So we are at a good pace. So here we go. Now, Euro JPY, obviously we can see we are on an uptrend. It's a good one. Remember we're in H4, that's the first thing that we need to understand. Then furthermore, we can just mark out any levels that we suspect could be respected or broken. So we have this level there. Then we also have one more around here. Oof. We have this one right here. This right here. So I'm just trying to like mark out, I'm considering these levels, I have this one here. They also have this one. Then I also have this one, see? So I can see that the price is bouncing off here. Now, by the way, the London session is not yet open. It's like pre-London, because it's about 8 a.m. in the morning here. So we have about two hours to the London session open. So here we go. Now, this is how we are looking like. So currently, obviously, what is on my mind now is I could see the price pushing up here. Yeah, that's okay. So let's scale down to H1. So now in H1, we just need to take in two focus this most, uh, this level here. We just need to like consider this most importantly to see what the price is doing. So obviously without um, more doubts or confusion, I think the price is going to be pushing off this level up to probably here it could break through since on h4 we can see it was a good uptrend you can see that the price is actually after breaking this level here we saw the price push up and then came back for a retest so we can expect the price to push up but again as you guys are going to see when i open up the trade here then i will either place my stop loss either below the level or somewhere above as you guys are going to see so be sure you follow up with the video so that's what is on mind right now but shall we get a trade now no <laughs> no patience it's important so let's see now going back to h1 this is how we are now on h1 we can even draw any other levels that we can find more important or levels that can actually be respected but so far, I don't see any levels. Let me try scaling down to M15. But yeah, on M15, we can just have these ones here. So I can just draw a small trend line because I see this kind of a level here. Yeah, you see that? So since it's now an uptrend on the M15, that means obviously the price is bouncing off already. You can see it's, uh, it's bounced off here. This is when the session just opened. Now we can see the price pushing up here. So you can expect when the price comes back here, we shall take that trade, right? So let me just go ahead and mark out this level with an alert, okay? So, oof. so I just need this level right around here. It's 157, let me see. 157.986, 986, 157.986, exactly. And we should have it really. 
Awesome. Now we have the level. So what you're going to wait for, since now we have set an alert, I obviously suspect that the price should come back to this level because now it's what is happening. You can see since now we're on M15. Now M15 obviously it's more of like an entry time frame. We need to get better entries rather than getting to a trade because we saw it's an option on H4 or anything like that. No. So we need to watch out for this. So uh furthermore, if we can have maybe any other lines or trend lines, maybe we can have this smaller one here. Again, furthermore, we can consider the price pushing maybe up there and then coming back for the pullback and we shall get a trade. So that's going to be my overall outlook on euro jpy so i'm going to watch out closely obviously for now i believe it's going to take maybe like an hour or a couple of minutes and once it comes back i'll take the trade or the moment i open up the trade i'm actually going to show you guys how i got in and what i considered now we are going to try out any other pair we can try out maybe jpy gpp jpy let me see GBPJPY and EuroJPY have a similar move at some point because they all have JPY at the end. But um, that's something that you have to test out as many times as possible. But here we go. So we are on H4, same concept again. And now we can see the overall trend is to the upside. I mean, today seems to be a great day. <laughs> I need to make this money big. So it's an uptrend again. And so now we can again mark out any levels that you consider being respected or anything. So we have this being the first one. So very clear, you see the price pushing up, no, it's pushing up, coming back, pushing up, coming back, pushing up. Same concept, now we are back for pullback. So you expect the price pushing up, but we need to start scaling down to smaller time frames. Can now go maybe to H1. Now H1, we should have a better look into it. And right here, we may not be sure that it's going to be a, a, a buy rather, since it's the overall outlook. So we might need to wait a little more patiently. I see we had some sort of a level here. So I just have this simple one. Since now we can see the price came back for a pullback. So let's wait. If at any point this level is broken, to the downside then that wouldn't be a good trade for us but we can see if the price can keep pushing up with some good momentum let's say we have a big bullish candlestick you know pushing to the upside then we shall take our buys there at this point we shall uh scale down to m15 maybe draw the uh draw any levels this is like what we did on euro jpy and yeah actually GBPJPY looks to be good for entries yet. So I have this small trend line right around here. Okay, fine. Then maybe this one here too. There we go. So seems good. We can actually enter our buys here, right around here. Then let me skip, uh, go back to H1. Yeah, okay, quick one. So we can even enter the trade. Oh, I'm just going to wait a little more patiently before I get a trade, really. There's some more patience. Now, why? Because I can see all I need now is a letter price to break through. So I'm just going to wait for the price to push beyond the trend line. Then I'll be able to get my trade here. But at this point, I would still get the trade in. But it looks a little more tricky. You can't be sure. The line session is not yet open, so you can't be sure about the momentum. More than you're going to open up a trade and then there's a change in direction. But that's how it is. So that's the whole thing. So I'm just going to cut the video from now. And then I will, when I enter the trades, or when I'm going to enter the trades, I'll record another session. So currently it's now 9 a.m., 9 a.m. in the morning. That means we have one hour to the London Open. So I'm just going to wait patiently. I'll be watching the charts and then I'll later do the next part when I have the trades. I'll also show you how they run. One hour later. All right, now an update. So I actually happened to enter the trades on EuroJPY and USDJPY. And I'm actually going to put the screen recording just on the side because we are currently in profits. I'm actually going to show you again why. Because initially I wanted the price to come over to this level. 
Uh, let me show you guys real quick. So I had expected the price to come back to this level here, right up to this level, but I saw it wasn't happening. Couldn't see the price pushing even down, though the overall momentum is to the upside. So I had to get in the trade. So obviously right now I can decide to close off some partial profits. It being let's say my take profit one, because now since we have an impulsive move, most probably in a minute we are going to have a pullback and then we shall again push later on above. Then I also took trades on USDJPY when I saw this on EURJPY. I guess what USDJPY again has the same move, literally the same as um, uh, EURJPY. So you guys can see here. So I just entered it and pretty good, entered with bigger lot sizes. It's about, uh, let me see. So on USDJPY enters 0 0.5, 0 0.5, a couple of times and that's how we are let's go so another concept again looking at how i placed my stop loss right here uh checking on here so i have my stop loss at around okay so i have my stop loss at around 145.25 145.25 and now when i'm placing my stop losses i try to look at those levels like right around here so let's say we entered a trade from this point here, this point here. It's okay, we can extend our stop loss just below this level. I mean, this level right here, this one here, because it's the most recent level. So if in any case we see the price reversing and breaking down, like if we saw a very big bearish move right here, coming to even break below this level, then I would close the trade more than I would close the trade even before I hit my stop loss because it's a level. So in any case, if it's broken, then that means there's probably a reversal. So that's a very better concept that I use. So right here, I think I will actually scale in more trades once I see the move really solid and it's going into profits big, I'll scale in more uh, trades. It's a quick one. That's basically how I get trades. Very easy. See, we got the level broken. Okay. We have this level here. And you can see, we also have this level right here, you know. Now the trend line being broken, obviously you expected a retest and now there we go. So it's time for magic. So I share the same trades with the student community that you can actually be part of. I mean, it's so, so easy. You can get to trade with me, get these trades literally daily, get to interact with more students in our community. And yeah, click the link just down and be part of it. And the last thing, smash the subscribe button. Okay, see you.